What's up, YouTube? Knife Crazy here. I have a Benchmade bug out for you. 535 Benchmade. Blue class. 710 2018 model. Let's take a look at it. This is on loan from one of my buddies at work. He got it in. I never had a bench made bug out before. Um, I held one at Blade Show one time, um, the green one, but that's about the only time I've ever held one. So I figure I'll take a little closer look at it. Um, so he got it in today and let me take it to the house and do a video on it. So, as you see, this is the blue one. Little blue uh, anodized standoffs. Same matching blue anodized thumb studs. Obviously an access lock. There's tons of videos on this knife already, so I ain't going into major great details about it, but I'm just gonna show what I think about it. And that little small pocket clip, little short stubby deep carry, real nice. Check the smoothness here. Very easily thumb stud flicked. Nice drop point blade on it there. S30V blade steel. Let's see the action. Try to get it out of the camera. Centered up real nicely there. It's uh, if you don't know much about these, these are a full um, plastic frame. I guess you would say there's no steel liners in here. It just has a little bit of steel right here near the area here for the um, access lock to fit into and obviously to be able to have something that the blade can you know have a little pivot area right here but basically that's what the screw is doing holding these two screws holding in right at the end of the liner lock and that's it everything else is solid plastic um, so it makes for a very lightweight knife it's uh, 1.85 ounces Got a little uh, area here for a lanyard if you wanted to. It can be uh, tip up, left or right hand carry. Good for the lefties. Little jipping up here, up top. Very thin, very thin, very lightweight. I mean, you got you a nice uh, blade length is 3.24, right at two, three and a quarter. Um, a nice size blade on you, and it just don't feel like you have anything. I mean, really, I mean, it, it's nothing there, it feels like. I mean, um, just a little disclaimer right out the box. This definitely uh, was not so I can drop shut it. You couldn't do that until I would um, I loosen the pivot a little bit and put some nano oil on it. So I wouldn't think um, if you get one right out the box, if it drops, if it does this like I'm doing, then great. This one didn't, so I don't know if they're all that way or what, but, but I mean, that's not bad. Just loosen it up a little bit and get it to where you like it. Some people might not want a, that they want to be able to close it down with a finger or whatever. That's fine. You yeah. know, whatever you like to do, but access lock, access lock is known to be able to just, you know, flick it like that back and forth. So that's what makes it nice there. And I got a bunch of different colors right now. I got the green. Um, 
I saw one company, I can't remember which one it was right up hand, where it actually have some like a burgundy red looking color handle, like an exclusive type thing. So that's uh, not like normal. Um, I also make half serrated edge ones uh, in the black and green, in the blue and satin, which that's pretty good for if you like the uh, serrated edges, which is good for cutting rope and things like that. Kind of all around good knife. But you know, once it's a good, if you love a thumb stud knife, this is a good thumb stud knife. That sucker flies out. Um, but I mean, it's, it's almost $115 knife new. I don't, you know, you bench made lovers gonna get on to me about this, but I, I just, I just don't see where there's $115 worth of knife here. I really don't. I mean, it's like I said, it's, it's plastic, a couple little pieces of metal and a little small blade with S30V. I mean, are you, are you really telling me that, that that little S30V thin blade right here is worth $115? I, I don't know. And to make this knife a, I don't know, more of a, um, more of a higher end feeling knife, I'll put it that way. Maybe use not used word, uh, maybe not so cheap feeling, I guess you would say. Uh, to make it not so cheap feeling, you, you know, they make, these companies are making uh, the titanium scales and stuff for it. So, but I mean, think about this. You pay $115 for this and you gotta buy a set of scales for like a hundred bucks. Ah, that's getting on up there. That's getting way past $200. For a bug out with S30V. I don't know. I mean, that's, if you like it, you do what you want to. I mean, I've spent a lot of money on knives and I keep them for a while, sell them, and it's just what I do. But I don't know. It's just hard to. I mean, it's a cool knife, don't get me wrong. But I, my opinion is, I just don't see where it's worth $115. I mean, if this was more of a. Uh, a around the lines of a Delica price range, maybe, you know, around 80, I think that'd be a good 80, 85, something like that. Cause I really think the good competition there, it would be like a Delica. So I don't know, I don't... but anyway, that's what I'm showing it off for. You make your decisions of what you like and if you like it and you want it, I'm just showing it off to you. But I mean, as you can see, I, I love flicking it. It's fun, very quick. So it's a cool little knife. Like I said, I, I, I just don't see it's worth, maybe on the secondary market, if you can get it for 90 or 80 or 75 or something, if it was got a little used to it or something. But I don't know about 115, I really don't. I mean, the regular S30V pair of two is like, what is it, right around 130? So you're telling me 15 more dollars, you can have a pair of two, which is G10 steel liners, same blade steel, uh, compression lock. I don't know. You be the judge. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day.